they give you a SAM and leaf diagram for some data and then you find that A and B is unknown at this moment. Afterward, they tell you that the mean is 70 and the range is 22. That means they try to give you some information to find out the value of A and B. After that, they ask you the median and also the standard deviation. Uh, beware one thing is sometimes uh, if they give us some information, doesn't mean that we only have one unique solution. Maybe there are two possibilities. But in this question, uh, there is only one possibility here. So they say that given mean is 0, 70, so we have one equation. And range is 0 to 22. Uh, it's easier to handle the range first. It's because the range only including uh, one unknown here. So range that means maximum minus minimum. Maximum here is 80 something plus B. Uh, don't write down A's B is wrong. 80 plus B. And then minus the minimum is 61. So B is equal to 3. It's fixed. That we know that B is equal to 3 now. Uh, after that, we use the information of mean because we didn't use it yet. And then we just simply add all the numbers from 61 plus 61 plus 61 plus 63 until the middle one, 70 plus A. And then continue until 81, until 83, the last data, divided by uh, how many number of data here we have to count. So, uh, 9 plus 6, we have 15 numbers here, so divide by 15 is equal to 70. And then we use calculator, calculate carefully, 1048, and then plus A, we can't add them together, is equal to 70 times 15. So we can find out 1050 minus the rest, 1048. A, this integer is 2. Uh, it's not yet finished. We have the full picture about all this value, but we still need to find out the median and the SD. About the median, we are considering there are 15 data, and then we cut it to exact half. So left hand side we have 7, right hand side we have 7 data, and then we have 1 exactly in the middle. So this is the 8th data. That means the 8th data value is our median. Then you just count the 8th data is 69. 69. That's the median. And then to get the SD, then you just simply use your calculator, input all the values, and then you get SD by shift 2. So SD is equal to after we use the calculator, the value is 7.33, correct to three significant figures. And then part B. If a worker is randomly selected from the group, find the probability that the hourly wage of the selected worker exceeds 70. So, it is an easy probability questions. The probability is equal to our target compared with our total number. That's the probability. So target, that means how many of them exist 70. 72, uh, start counting from here. We have six data, fulfill requirement. While in total, we have 15 uh, workers here. That's why you simplify your answer to over 5 uh, is the answer.